This is the La Sportiva Akira, or I've heard people say Akira, but I say Akira. Uh, GTX, which means it's the Gore-Tex version, the waterproof version. Bought this shoe specifically for our trip to uh, Switzerland to do uh, Le Route, Route, I guess you're supposed to say. I've been practicing that. It's still incorrect, I'm sure. Knowing that the route was going to be lots of vert, lots of climbing on rocky trails, I didn't think I was going to be, it was going to be a long distance running constantly, but when the time came to run, I wanted to be able to run. I didn't want to be trying to run in a hiking boot and I didn't want this to feel bulky and heavy like a, like a hiking shoe. My research and investigation led me to the La Sportiva Akira and it basically fulfilled every single one of my hopes and dreams. I have a wider foot. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a wide shoe, but it was not uncomfortable at all. The basic lacing system, nothing fancy, no shoe tuck, you know, no tuckaways like the Solomon, but it worked just fine. Good laces, laced up. I don't think I had to relace during the day. The uh, tread is very aggressive and it has a nice uh, sticky, whatever, you know, La Sportiva calls it their friction uh, compound. So that just means their sticky version of, of rubber. Um, so it, it held up really well. Like I said, it, it hiked really well when we had to hike, but when the time came to run, it ran great. And I could run, you know, long stretches and I never felt uh, clunky or bulky or like it, like it wasn't a runner. This is a trail runner, definitely. You can tell it is built up a little bit, you know, thicker. This is definitely a shoe that has, you know, it's not a, uh, for all of you, zero drop people. This is definitely not a zero drop shoe. I will run in ultras and, and all the zero drop minimal stuff, but I'll, I'm happy to put on a regular trail runner as well, just depending on what we're doing. So I was very happy with the shoe. Uh, I used it again on the last uh, little ridge traverse hike up a water filled valley. Waterproofing worked great, breathed well enough, you know, as long as you're not using this in the summer. I never sweat too much. I think temperatures were right around, oh, well, they started out like in the 30s in the morning and then got up to, you know, 50s, almost 60 in the afternoon. And I've never was sweltering or, or soggy in this shoe. So the Gore-Tex membrane was working its magic, I, I assume. This uh, retails, I believe the Gore-Tex version for about $160 US. I think I found it, you know, online on some sale uh, for maybe 105 to 120, somewhere in that range. I mean, if I was to have to compare this to a shoe, I'm sure it's it's very similar to many of the Gore-Tex, you know, waterproof trail runners that are out there. Uh, this is, you know, definitely more on the aggressive side, I think. This is not like a, you know, a waterproof um, Solomon Sense Ride. This is definitely in a burlier category. But again, I didn't feel like it was a heavy, heavy shoe. It might, it's kind of in a category of its own because it, it looks like it's going to be almost like a light hiker, but you put it on and you start running and it feels like a runner. Probably have close to 100 miles on them, but uh, we'll see if it holds up. They seem pretty durable though.